I was born on the 26th of August uh, 1959 in a small village called Haramutsi, about 30 k's uh, north of uh, Pretoria. Unfortunately, I lost my father at the age of two. My mother was also not around, uh, working in Johannesburg as a domestic worker, looking after white uh, children and cleaning white homes. Started stealing at a very early stage of our lives, stealing water and wood. You can imagine uh, stealing uh, to be able to survive. But at the same time, I grew up really having this ambition. My ambition was obviously to use education to really give me the kind of freedom that I yearned for. Because my grandfather, as I was growing up, always insisted on me being independent. Connie and I, we got married at the age of 22 and 20. We are now married uh, for 38 and a half years and uh, it's a decision that I so deeply treasure even up to today. I'm uh, to really so grateful to God for having given me that wisdom of stabilizing my, my life. But um, my first car, Toyota Corolla, Two months later, I resigned, became a commission sales rep for a company in Johannesburg selling hair care products. But then 19 months later, I said to myself, I'm not going to make uh, this money for this guy. Let me start my own business. Let me actually not even become a distributor. Let me make this product. Then I uh, invited uh, these two guys, um, jo Joseph Mulwant and Johan Krill. I said, guys, we're making money for someone else. Let's go and make it ourselves. I had everything against me. But when I decided to really go into business, because I recognized as a human being, I was not complete. And the only way I can run a successful business, I needed to, uh, to complement myself. I had to surround myself with like-minded South Africans. We learned these uh, lessons quite early on the stages of our lives. That, you know what? Human beings are human beings. And uh, it's got nothing to really do with color. It's got to do with values. You know, my uh, entry into politics has been totally accidental. I never thought in my wildest dream that one day I'll become a public servant. Then when I joined to be the mayor, was just to send a signal to our youth in particular that Let's not vote for political parties because they look like us. Let's vote for political parties for what they stand for. And that's when I realized um, at the fault with our political system. The majority of our politicians today are there for themselves, their stomachs and political parties. And unfortunately for me, I was not in this game to serve political parties or serve my stomach. I was in this game to serve people, to serve society, particularly the poor to really get them out of poverty. South Africa, as you are aware, we the most unequal society in the world. And, and I don't want to live in a society like that. In a country with such massive potential, I felt this, um, this is not going to happen under my watch. 